So what's up guys, it's Truism C here and now in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys the top 5 Enderman secret tips and tricks. This is going to be a list of you know facts, tips and tricks that you guys are going to be used to be able to defeat the Enderman and stuff that you didn't know about the Enderman. So without further ado guys, let's get into today's video. If you guys do want to join my notification squad shout out, don't forget to subscribe and keep notifications turned on. So as you guys know, Endermen are one of the most difficult mobs to defeat in Minecraft. I would I was just about to say story mode, but Minecraft survival mode, because story mode is a completely different game. So Minecraft survival mode, we know that the Endermen is one of the hardest, hardest mobs to defeat. But guys, there's a lot of things that you didn't know about the Enderman. And you know, I'm not really going for facts because, you know, facts, I, I don't want to say facts are boring, but... Well, the thing is with facts you can't really use them in game gameplay and it's not really like a useful tip if you guys know what i mean so you like if if i said you know the enderman's eyes were once green i mean it's just a cool fact like maybe you didn't know that but um you know you can't really use that in gameplay so that's what i'm aiming to do is i'm going to show you guys stuff that you can use in gameplay so the first tip I'm going to show you guys is how to properly defeat an enderman so we all know that enderman you know you can either you know hit him whatever and you know once you hit them they start they open their mouth jaws really wide and they go really crazy and they're really just you know they start screaming and they start coming after you but one thing that you didn't know is that if you are guys i'll show you guys if you are under a two block height area um enderman they won't be able to hit you and you'll be able to hit them as many times as you want and i'm gonna go in survival guys i'm gonna show you i'm even gonna take off my diamond armor that's how confident i am guys I'm taking my diamond arm, I'm gonna go in survival and I'm gonna place an enderman right there. I'm gonna hit him. As you guys can see, the enderman, he is mad. He is mad. He's doing the shaking, the everything, the vibrations and stuff like that. And he's opened up his lower jaw. But guys, because I'm underneath a two block area, this now means that the enderman cannot touch me at all, which is a really, really cool tip because a lot of people run when they see an enderman. But as long as you're underneath a two block area, guys. It means that you are completely, completely fine, guys. So I can just hit this Enderman for as long as I want. And I can just, you know, hit him there, hit him there, hit him there. And, you know, nothing's going to happen to me. And as you guys can see, he comes from the other side. Nope, no problem. I'm just going to hit you again. So that is the first tip, guys. The first tip that you do want to have. So the next tip, guys. And this one, um, I'm pretty sure most people do know this tip by now. But, you know, you'd be surprised at the amount of stuff that most people don't know in Minecraft. So one of the next tips, guys to come with enderman is that an enderman you know you you know that the okay you know what let me just say it straight one of the things that you didn't know about an enderman is that uh, let me just get some food is that an enderman actually gets angry when you look at it so this is something that not a lot of people know because most people end up mobs that when you just you know look at them you're probably going after them to kill them so one thing that people don't know is that when they see an enderman, like when people start the game, they think, hmm, it's just a tall creature, you don't know what it does. When people look at it, they didn't know that it gets you angry. So that's one of the things it does get you angry. But guys, let me just eat some pork chops. There's a way for you guys to look at an enderman. So I'll show you guys. If I look at an enderman right now in his face, he gets mad and he's going to come attacking me. As you guys can see, he's probably going to glitch out or whatever. He's going to start attacking me and he took off my health. I don't want to die. But there's a different way to go about this. So if you do want to look at an enderman, what you can do guys is you can put a pumpkin on your head so i'll go back in survival mode now and then if i look at an enderman guys nothing is going to happen so i can look at this enderman all day i can stare at him all day long and he just blinks away i don't know where he went but yeah i can just stare at an enderman and nothing will happen guys nothing will happen whatsoever so that's tip number two is that you can stare at an enderman for as long as you want i don't know why he's glitching away from me right now is he scared of me or something like um He's teleporting really, really fast. Like, he's trying to get away from me. Is he scared of me? What's going on? Um, but, yeah, like I said, um, you know, you can look at him as, as much as you want and nothing will happen. So, that's the second tip. It's a really cool tip because it's really useful. So, if you're ever in a world, although it does kind of, you know, it's, it kind of messes up your view because you can't really see to the right of you. You know, it's, it's not too great. You can't really see too much. So, it's, it's really annoying. So, you don't want to have this on too much of the time because, you know, you can't really see much. Now, you can see a lot better. So, yeah, the next Enderman sort of, you know, fact slash chip slash tip and trick is that, guys. I'll show you. I'm going to have to set something up really quickly. Uh, I'm going to show you guys is that Enderman, they really, really, really hate, 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 hate water, guys. Enderman hate water, guys. And I don't know why this is. I don't know the lore behind it. I don't know the story behind why Enderman hate water. Maybe there's like a Minecraft story mode. Maybe in the story mode, they talked about why Enderman hate water so much. But for some reason, guys, Enderman do hate water. So I think, guys, I think that possibly if you do hit an Enderman, 
and you know they are after you and you do stand in an area like this the enderman more than likely isn't going to be able to attack you although i haven't tried it out yet guys i don't want to say i haven't just tried it out yet um i do want to say that the enderman you know more than more likely be able to attack you another thing with enderman is that you know as the second they come into contact with water so as soon as they touch the water guys they will you know they'll instantly get away from the water guys they'll instantly jump away so even um another thing i'm gonna have to show you guys another scenario so for example when it's raining um the enderman will just jump out so he'll spawn boom the second he touched water guys he was out of there he was out of there guys he was he was gone guys he, he he did not want any part of that so i'm gonna get some enderman spawn eggs i'm gonna see if they can touch me because i haven't tried this out yet but um since this is the 30 let me just spawn some enderman go in survival um i want to see if they actually come after me since i'm in the water so it seems like guys enderman can't even touch you when you're in water now this is something that um i guess it kind of makes sense because um you know they hate water so there, there's literally no way they can get me i can stay in here i can stay in here carefree um and yeah they really just can't touch me because they hate water so much that the second they touch water um they go crazy guys they go crazy so yeah and i think the fourth tip as well guys is that you know the second it starts raining guys i'll show you guys uh, let me just spawn some over here the second it starts raining so i'll change i'm so glad that i can change the weather to rain is that enderman will teleport around 20 24 7 as you guys can see they're just glitching 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 they just glitch around the entire map guys the entire map so as long as it's raining in a minecraft survival world enderman they can't attack you guys they can't attack you no matter where they are because they're just glitching out just hoping to avoid the raindrops but wherever they go they get hit with the raindrops guys so that's kind of like tip number four or whatnot but um yeah it's it's really really um it's really really crazy it's really really weird but yeah we're gonna go on to the next ender point you know ender point enderman fact right now the fifth sort of fun fact or you know i guess sort of cool thing about enderman and it, i don't know guys if you this is like a challenge as well this is why i like this one is because this one is really really cool so um it's really annoying as well though guys it's really annoying i don't want to say i just want to put that this game there it is quite annoying but um yeah this one is with enderman so with enderman guys one thing that you're not able to do is that you're not able to hit enderman with projectiles and if you don't know what a projectile is guys a projectile is something like a snowball or a bow from a bow and arrow so it is 100 percent impossible to hit an enderman with that so, however so if you actually manage to do hit an enderman with that i guess you'll have broken some kind of you know minecraft world record because nobody in the history of minecraft has been able to do that simply because as soon as the snowball comes and i honestly don't know where the snowballs are oh there they are so i'll show you guys right now that um the second uh, okay he's teleporting around but the second i i throw a snowball at him he you just you just can't hit him guys you can't hit the enderman they just teleport away from it the same thing goes for the bow they will just teleport away from it i'll show you guys boom and they're just gone so yeah you can never never officially hit the enderman with a bow or with a snowball um i don't know why guys i don't know why that is but for just some reason you just you just can't hit them i don't know it's just in the game's coding so using a bow against an enderman it, it wouldn't be your best idea guys because it just be wasting a lot of time you just waste a lot of bows waste a lot of ammo and yeah you just it's impossible guys you just can't do it so if you can do this guys this is why i said it might be a challenge to you if you do want to try it guys it would be you know a good luck to you guys because i really doubt that you'll be able to do it because it's impossible i've tried a million times and you know you, you just can't do it so that is you know i guess fact five but as we know i always sometimes do bonus facts guys so the next bonus fact i have for you guys and this one is really really odd guys really really odd really really creepy now i don't i don't know if this is like i don't know why this is and i don't know uh why it's like this but if you have an enderman and if you know you put a potion of invisibility on the enderman for some reason you can still see the enderman's eyes guys now which is so 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 creepy guys you can see the enderman's eyes which is just like i don't know guys i'm not joking if i saw this in someone else's world like if i was just messing around and i saw this in someone else's world i would be freaking out guys because you just see someone else's eyes coming towards you with all this you know purple sort of thing and if someone told me this is a new mob you guys i'd probably believe them because um i don't know if it can still attack you in survival because honestly where, where did he go he probably teleported away but yeah it's something that is really 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 weird you can for some reason see the enderman's eyes and it's just i don't know guys it's just really 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 spooky now 
in the old versions of Minecraft, and I don't know why they don't have this anymore, what you used to be able to have is like a very, very, very sly silhouette. So it used to turn into like, no, I wouldn't say a white Enderman, but a very, very, very um, thin grey Enderman that you would very, 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 it would be very, very hard. But now it's completely invisible, like it's completely invisible. Um, before you used to be able to see a little, little outline of the Enderman. So yeah, I don't know guys, it's really 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 interesting you guys should definitely try it out you should definitely try and you know prank your friends with this enderman thing as well because you know a lot of people are probably going to believe you that this is like some new mob from the end damage or whatever since the xbox one update just tell them you know there's there's a new um update or whatever. but yeah um let me know what you guys think about this do you guys think endermans are crazy do you think they're odd do you think they're wacky and you know some obvious enderman facts is that you know they drop ender pearls and you can use those to teleport so basically you know you're harnessing the energy from the enderman but you know those are the the, the really obvious ones so yeah if you guys did enjoy the enderman facts and tips and tricks let me know in the comment section or secret things you didn't know about enderman let me know in the comment section below it's been Drew C. hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you did don't forget to smack that like button don't forget to comment down below to join my notification shout out squad and on until the next time, it's been Drew's MC, and I'll see you all in my next video.